yeah now we are in the basic settings here so what I can um, show you here is uh, we go uh, one by one in this uh, session from this session so in the left side you can see what are all um, we are going to do on the BL GL basic settings so you can go into the company codes so you can see all these company codes is already available yeah so you can uh, use you can copy using the existing company codes that's a fastest way or else you can uh, you know define using new entries so you click new, new entries and our company code is tr03 yeah so paying company code is same as our company so because it's our paying company and we are using this company code to do the make the payment so let's say if you have a business area yeah? you have a different business areas you need to make a payment based on the business areas then you need to check this uh, uh, box so in the case of payment method supplements and uh, I will uh, try to cover in the next topics but not here so this is a, a, a special feature also you can use and regarding this uh, cash discount and tolerances when you are making the payments what is the tolerance you want to give at the company code level yeah so um, let's say if there is outgoing payment um, uh, you, you can make a payment with it a certain tolerances and also uh, a number of days uh, payable so and in the case of vendors and customers you can uh, give a special GL indicators here yeah so for the in the case of special GL indicators let's say you can include the down payment uh, and also uh, the, the down payment request yeah so usually we uh, include these two yeah so I add these two in the case of customers also so in the case of customers um, the, I should add a a for a down payment and F for, for a down payment request so if you would like to add any any specific um, you know uh, the payment method at the company code level I yeah, so ask you can still add it so initial stage yeah, I'm not going to assign more here so I use only these two uh, in a particular case so we we come up uh, with this we already done all company codes then after you do click on save it will come up with a transport request and uh, yeah maybe you know the transport request it's usually uh, we transport from a development to test and the test to production yeah so I just use same transport because it's our idea system yeah so we done uh, with our um, all company codes now go back uh, with the paying company yeah so here we already <coughs> see all all the company codes here QRST so you cannot see our company code so what you can do is uh, you can click on new entries so here this is a paying company code you can enter tr03 so since based on our company code the currency is changing yeah you can see here so you can assign the forms so this is a uh, the forms usually the payment advice <coughs> if you want to send a payment advice using while you are making a payment then you can send so the sender details usually this will be ADRS and uh, you can send uh, what should be the header which is a logo and what should be the footer and also signature and uh, sender details yeah so here um, you, you can choose uh, any any form and um, if you really want to send a, a payment advice um, via post or uh, via automatic uh, email that's uh, that will be a different uh, 
yeah so sending the payment advice uh, some cases uh, it's really not possible in a physically sending usually the big organizations they will be sending uh, via email yeah so it's always recommended paperless um, and also uh, environment friendly yeah so here in the case of uh, there's no exchange rate difference uh, uh, here you can see the minimum amount for incoming payment uh, i just put uh, one and uh, minimum amount for outgoing payment so in the case of you, you can see you can set it uh, what should be the minimum amount for incoming payment yeah while using the payment methods all right in this case and uh, here you can see no exchange rate difference for part payments in the case of a partial payments or part payments and the separate payment for each reference so if you are having any a special an um, invoice reference uh, you can make a partial payment so bill of exchange and uh, these are um, usually some countries are not using but I don't have a, I, I know the process but uh, um, I never worked in this um, area here yeah so we configured this uh, paying company code so we cover one and two so then next the payment method payment method we need to define at the country level yeah so when you go to the country um let me see because i'm forward uh, which country we are um in our company tr03 should be germany if i understand uh, correctly um let me just quickly go to the definition initial accounting and uh, company code edit company code tr03 yeah so this is a DE so and language is DE and country also DE so I would say I am going to use uh, DE so in the case of DE yeah we have a lot of uh, payment methods already so let's say international check and uh, orders check and uh, also we have uh, so which one we should use for our company code so that's the question now so this country having all these uh, payment methods so you don't need to go with the new payment method they already having here so what you can do is uh, uh, here you can see the international check and uh, also the order check and also as for a check so what I am going to use here is orders check and uh, this may be a domestic yeah um, do we have anything a check yeah so we don't have anything so in this case I can I am going to use these two um, as check and check uh, S and O payment methods for our country we have already uh, okay so before going uh, instead of using the existing one let's go what are the details here yeah so in the case of here when you double click on this you can see this is the international check description whether this payment method is purely for outgoing payment or incoming payments so um, this is purely for outgoing payment so one payment method you can define either for incoming payment or outgoing so it cannot be both yeah? so when you scroll here you can see the payment method classification whether it's a check or a bank transfer or bill exchange or check bill okay and then uh, you can see here um, allowed personal uh, payments and post office current account method here if you say a street post office uh, is needed if it is a mandatory then uh, yeah it will be you cannot proceed with a check without this information yeah so what should be the in in the case of bank transfer usually they check this box to make account required because uh, um, account is a mandatory um, for a bank transfer so in the case of check 
usually this is used so you can see the jet p is for a payments and the jet v for a clearing i will come to the topic here so usually the sap standard program for printing the check is rffos underscore c this is the one and um, yeah so we come to this uh, payment method check and if you go to the s here this is also you can see yeah i don't see any difference uh, um, bo bo both are mostly the uh, same yeah? this is a uh, this is a rff od underscore s so we should use um, instead of this we should use uh, c which is international check so apart let's go uh, when i go to this payment method uh, you can see what are the currencies allowed so if you don't specify any specific currencies then you can post all the currencies in the case of uh, payment destination countries if you can you can specify only which countries are uh, usually needed and um, if, if 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 you don't specify anything yeah then it will be applicable for all and the case of uh, notes to pay can um, nothing uh, is here in the case of uh, check so now um, we are going to use I'm, I'm not saving because I'm going to use a standard one uh, for the payment method so now we are going to the next payment method in company code so now we go to R03 So you can you know you have only until tr02 yeah so now click on uh, i usually just copy this and uh, tr i just change it to 03 because i am using here so the maximum payments allowed for check uh, you can specify only the checks are allowed uh, which on and uh, if you want to specify the minimum amount you can say 10 I say 1 and uh, yeah distribution uh, also can be entered whether the if it is this international check business partner allowed or not you can easily check here so in this case um, it, you can issue checks to a, a foreign customers also in the case of single payment uh, for a market item yeah you can mark for the single payment and payment due date and uh, payment per due date so the system will generate uh, one payment for each due item so it will not summarize the data based on the due date so usually uh, line by line it will select instead of uh, doing optimization so you can optimize by bank group or postal codes and yeah and you can see here ideas uh, drawer and all this information and also you can you can um, have a payment advice control as many as requests so now yeah we are using this and uh, for our company click save so the next one is uh, a bank transfer which is um, this one uh, going f11 yeah you can use the bank transfer so let's say go back you can see here the bank determination so before we step into the bank determination so let's see we have our company code or not which is a tr03 we have this tr03 and you can specify the ranking order bank accounts so before going to these bank determinations we need to go back to the house bank so we need to check our tr03 company code having any bank accounts currently not so what we will do click new entries so trb1 a01 
So I use um, the E and uh, I want to use any existing, uh, uh, let's say SAP Bank, this one. So now click on save. The house bank is created. So now click on one minute. Yeah. So TR03. So when you go back here, the house bank is created. So now you select the house bank. And double click on bank accounts so under the bank accounts so now under this house bank the accounts uh, will be created so let's say one house bank for uh, one currency is recommended um, here so let's say you can go click on new entries RB so company uh, let's say I should say city bank okay, okay so one two three four five, uh, five six seven eight nine zero and uh, the currency should be euro and uh, yeah let's see now our bank account so here this is where <coughs> sorry this is where you need to assign a bank account which is a main bank so uh, this concept is um, let me explain uh, if you guys know about a bank reconciliation um, you can say sometimes uh, you are paying checks to the banks uh, sorry to the cust to the vendors and these checks will be deposited on a later day and liquidated by those uh, uh, those of our business partners so what we usually do um, is that um, this is shown separately in, in, in the SAP what is out, outstanding um, clearing is still need to be you know withdrawn from our bank account so if you really want to see the balance usually the um, bank ba this always represents your main bank account bank balance at the bank if you really want to see the bank recon they usually add or minus and these these are the accounts uh, balances so now we are going to use only a main bank click on save so yeah so we have created a house bank so next step is bank determination so after creating let's come to our company code TR03 in the bank determination TR03 ranking order the first step so you can see only check because we only assign the check and euro one and the house bank is TRP01 yeah so these three fields are unique fields yeah and uh, bank accounts so here TRB01 and C and Euro and uh, account ID TRB01 again yes this is where used a sub account so when we say sub account zero star 
so you can see this is an outgoing clearing account so we maintain the outgoing clearing account so let's say if you want to make a payment by business area this is only used for a particular business area then yeah you can use that and this is an enhanced mm, determination uh, for uh, banks so now let's say available amounts i i usually maintain trb01 trb01 999 and uh, euro available outgoing is 999 999 and the value date expenses so let's say what is this charge code and uh, yeah so here you can you can maintain there will be some expenses will be charged let's say bank charge uh, 100 and uh, maybe 110 maybe 120 so you can say charge indicator here so when it uh, go back here you can see the charge indicator what is used here bank charges you can maintain here which is a BC yeah so uh, I don't do uh, any maintenance here at this moment maybe we'll go into the uh, detail when we are doing business transactions so this is the basic setups uh, in the case of uh, banks yeah so yeah that's friends um, this is the end of uh, the basic settings for uh, house banks uh, at a high level um, to, to do I just explaining only a, a directly into the system and settings if you really want to um, interested on the business processes and everything uh, please help to comment and uh, provide some details what are the other interested topics um, must be addressed uh, here so then it will be helpful and it will be more uh, you know um, uh, what do you call an inspiration for me to post uh, a good videos like this I hope you like these videos. Yeah, thank you.